If your dog is consistently breaking the sit down or place command, you might be inadvertently training them to do so by releasing them from far away. I'll give you an example. Down, good. So when you release your dog, it's really important to know that if you release your dog from far away, you put your dog in a down, you walk 50 feet away or 30 feet away or 10 feet away to show your friends how well your dog can stay and then you release them, then the dog is anticipating the further you get from them and the longer you go away from them, the more likely it is for you to release them. So your dog actually gets more antsy the more you try to get them to stay when you leave. You wanna train your dog to only release when you reapproach them. So if you're training to release from far away, this is what it would look like. Yes, good job. So Jen would be anticipating being released from here rather than from there. A better strategy is always to release your dog by going back to them. That way my dog thinks the further away my human goes, the less likely it is for them to release. I might as well stay put. We wanna teach the dog that I won't release you till I come all the way back to you and then I will give you that release cue. Yes, good job. On top of that, I'll also have full control over my dog when I do finally release them, rather than releasing them into 50 feet of free space.